Hello, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat, and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Wednesday. It is a three-layer cake. First layer is our five routines. Our second layer is the basic weekly plan, which is planning and desk day. And the third layer is our zone. We're in zone three, the bathroom, and one other room. So here's how we start. We're going to do, if you're working, you're gonna get up in the morning and you're gonna do your morning routine and then the children will have their routines. You're gonna do a clutter check. Then you're going to go, you're gonna grab your action items to take with you to work. You're gonna look in the fridge, the freezer, and the pantry and see what's in there so that you can make up a menu and a grocery list while you're at work today. Um, you're gonna pay some bills at work. You're going to balance your checkbook at work. You can do these on your breaks and lunch hour. I promise, I've done it for years and years, and you can too. Um, at lunch, you're going to remind your children if you have delegated part of the weekly home blessing hour, you're gonna call them and remind them what it is that, they're, that they should be doing. If they're already in school, then you're going to call them on your first break and remind them when they get home what they should be doing, a one 10 minute item or less. And then when you leave, you're gonna to call to remind them once again. And then when you get home, you're gonna do a quick clutter check. You're gonna inspect what you expect, which will be that basic weekly home item. You're not gonna be grumpy about it. You're not gonna be overly critical about it. You're, gonna pray, you're either gonna praise them or they're gonna have a consequence because they didn't do it. So if they do have a consequence, you're going to instill, instill it right away because it's a natural consequence that they chose and you're going to do the item yourself, the one item. So if it's wipe the glass or if it's dust the house, you're going to do it yourself without complaint. You're just gonna do it because you want your house clean. And then you're going to um, put in your laundry, you're gonna go through an inch of paper, and you're gonna start dinner. While dinner is simmering or holding, you're going to do either some deep cleaning in your zone or if you don't have the ability to deep clean because there's clutter, you're going to declutter in the zone for 15 minutes. Throw away, put away, give away, completing the process by throwing away, throwing it away, putting it in the back of the car for giveaway, or putting it up in your home, wherever it goes, okay? Um, after dinner, you're going to do the after dinner routine, which is another family affair. Again, if your children choose not to cooperate, they choose not to help doing these tiny little things, Another consequence immediately happens. Don't put those off. Kids don't think that consequences are gonna matter until they happen, and then they really have a fit and they'll blame you, but it is not you. They have chosen this. And then you'll do their part of the work without complaint yourself. Um, and then you're gonna do another clutter check before bed, and then the before bed routine for yourself after you do the before bed routine for your children. That's your day. You've got this. You can do this, and this is gonna make your life better. I promise. Dealing with the children is sometimes difficult, oftentimes difficult, and you, but you know what? You're capable, you're equipped, and you can do it. You're the mom, you're the wall, you're what they can't push over. This is where the buck stops, you. You're going to say they are going to go to bed on time, they are gonna do the job you asked them to do, or they're going to happily accept the consequence that they chose. Because by not doing the job you asked them to do, they're choosing the consequence, so remind them of that. All right, if you're at home, we're gonna take a little different spin on this. You're going to get up, do your morning routine, put the children through their morning routine, do a clutter check. Then you're going to do your laundry and your paper routine. Then we're going to do planning and desk day. So you're gonna go straight to the kitchen and you're gonna look in the refrigerator, the freezer, the pantry, take stock, throw out stuff that doesn't belong in there, do a little wipe down, get ready for your groceries tomorrow, make a grocery menu, make a menu based on what you have, and a grocery list based on what you don't have for the rest of the week. So you have something planned to eat every day of the week. Um, then you're going to do um, your zone. So after you've done, oh, you're gonna balance your checkbook. And if you're doing this every week, it's not hard. Balance your checkbook, look at your budget, make sure nothing weird is happening with your credit card or debit card. And then you're gonna go right into zone three, which is the bathroom and one other room. You're gonna work in one of those rooms, either the bathroom or the room you've chosen, and do one thing. If you aren't decluttering, you're going to do one thing in that room. And when you're done, it's gonna be time for lunch. After lunch, you're gonna do a clutter check again. Again, that is not a mean, bad, rough clutter check. It's simply a, oh my goodness, look what we have left behind. Let's pick this stuff up. 
right? Everybody picks up. Then we're gonna have dinner after dinner routine, and then we're going to have another clutter check before the before bed routine, and then the before bed routine for you. Okay, I'm not reiterating what the before bed routine is anymore. I feel like I've done that enough, so you can go back to yesterday's video and watch that if you need to see. Or if you don't know any of the stuff I'm talking about, please go watch the video called How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies on my homepage, 40 minutes long. Please take notes. This is going to make it so much easier. I know it sounds like a lot when I'm saying all this stuff, but it, you've got a lot of time to do this in and it takes very little time. It just takes a lot of time to say it on a video, but I've said it all for two kinds of, uh, of situations in five minutes and 45 seconds, so I know you can do it. All right, that's it for today. I want you to have a wonderful day and always remember that you are beautiful. Bye.